Alrighty, welcome back to Dominions 5. This is episode 13 now. Okay, there were a number of battles we did take a look. We believe we had mostly wrapped up the turn. Um, most of them were fine. This one we accidentally bumped into a Machaka group going to attack this exact same place as us. So we lost that. We're getting a lot of air breathing fills so that we can uh, go and head underwater. Um, are we able to forge anything related to that? Probably not. I mean, ring of water breathing so that another mage can go down. And probably, yeah. Let's grab just some of those because we'll want probably as many hands on deck as possible for it. Okay, I'm storming the castle here. These units are moving back to take from the very few ice drakes they have. We are assembling our army up here. You should just research for now. And side set should be pretty good. Um, these units, we don't really want to fight against Machaka here, so we're just going to head back. And a lot of frogs. <laughs> Honestly, we don't need to be getting tons of frogs because they literally don't do like anything. But let's just send them with her over here to the throne. Um, most of these people doing things. All bears. Let's do that, just for fun. Other people are doing all sorts of things. Kohan is A-OK -okay now, so he can grab some more troops and go back to the, um, wait, there, um, disciplines, so they need to be in a different group. And then I believe this area has enough supply for him to head back on over. Yes. And you can grab us. Grab a set so that some of our forces can deal with supply issues. In fact, you're going to grab the Cauldron of Broth. And finally, for our Sleeper, a very strong warrior, high skills, high literally everything. Um, his Enchanted Spear gives an additional seven magic damage to two. Um, if we were to give him the Herald Lance, be six magic, one in one, but it does give him a spell Solar Rays, which is super cool, but it only affects undead beings. Um, I'm not certain how much undead they have, so whether it would actually be that useful. One of the problems <laughs> Funnily enough, is that he has such good armor and all for now that we can't really give him much better stuff. Like, even that Herald Lance isn't really better. But yeah. First world problems for him. And this guy can grab some more units and head on out. Yeah, 
move our guys back here just in case they get attacked. And hmm, also want to be recruiting up here so that we would be able to actually let's save some gold. No. It's really too late to try to start a fortress here, I feel. And let's get troops. And, but like one less than that so that we get another mage over here and end our turn. Alrighty. One very big battle, apparently. I would assume that is the castle fight. Yes, we are in year four, late summer. Yes, so there was one place where they attacked us to where we attacked them. Basalt ruins here. Nothing there, nothing there. Kind of nice to be able to do that. Okay, let's look at the place where they attacked us in the swamp. This is largely undefended, and they, I believe these are probably just mercenaries, but we had a actually decent sized um, province defense here, so it's not totally unrealistic for us to have defended. It just, if they uh, split up, it would be a very big issue. Like here, where they uh, just killed off the commanders and caused a rout. That's what sucks for that. In Gila, we attacked with a variety of magical units and some normal things, and some werewolves. Um, the main question is whether we can take out the ice race and get the werewolves actually have a fight, that is very yeah. Having a bunch of fights really is fun. Yeah. The uh, werewolves just never get in fast enough to do anything. It kind of is bad that they only have a combat speed of 8. So that was a bit of a miscalculation, but we still have our mages who do a good amount of work. Probably it would have been better even not to have had the wolves just getting in the way and all. Um, and then at Yellow Mountains, this should be relatively simple. Pretty much assert, assured, yeah. We say the troops. Funnily enough, they tried to build a temple there. Not the best idea when it's constantly changing hands and all. We're gonna send these two guys back here. Need to re be recruiting. Fortunately, very few recruitment points in this province. It's not really any good options. But we can send our Mound King over with a whole bunch of long dead infantry, and that should work pretty well. Yeah. So these are the uh, Woodland Spirits. They are half regeneration, which isn't too good with only 10 hit points. They have all four. Ooh. But they have to essentially stay in one place. That does not seem particularly useful. Now they seem very strong defenders, but you have to use them in a very specific place and all. So, not quite certain about that. Um, let's quickly set up orders for this. 
the long dead can just go and attack forward. I want these to kind of head somewhat around and the Mound King should stay solidly to the back. And he's going to head all the way down with his army. Ooh, we finally got an another death too. That is very useful. Also, this guy can take a number of magical beings and that one soldier and head on down. Let's do a manticore, just for fun. Again. This guy is going to grab these shamblers and head on down. Okay, let's start giving people their uh, items. And seeing how many we will actually need. Probably a whole lot more. Because we're already running out. So, yeah. Let's have probably that guy can't. And you also get to make some more pills of water breathing. Now, these guys can already bring 20 um, size units, but we kind of will need more. Keep in mind, we're going to recruit a good amount here. This still has unrest issues. We're going to start giving some extra province defense there. Have this guy make more. You head up there. Gilgamesh will make something fun. Something fun, I said. Let's see. Hmm. huge problem. Too many options. <laughs> Have him research them. Okay, we're getting a decent amount of research going. This guy, forge more bags of wine. And want to send all of these guys with him. And we want to you to give this to him and we're just going to patrol for now because we don't want to lose the province to the silliness that they have going and apart from that definitely don't want to attack we'll um, be able to try our luck here next turn they're probably at about a hundred and 50, 60. Good thing is a lot of them are relatively weak. Um, before I forget, we definitely want to give these people water gems so that they can um, summon water elementals down there. Water lenses are nice just to um, give them a free water gem in fighting. This guy. More. And you. Grab some. Actually, this guy, since he's leading um, the...
what do I say? He's leading shamblers, I believe. He does not need a water pills. He just, or pills of air breathing. Same thing with this guy. He just needs to have a ring of water breathing for himself. <sighs> However, if we give him additional troops, he will. And also, can you... These guys are not aquatic. Um, I don't know if... Yeah. It would be super cool to call Krakens, but since this water province is completely isolated, we cannot do that. However, this guy can grab us something. Not amazing stuff, but it is something. Yeah, so that should probably be good. Don't really want to move out. Still recruiting. Where are we recruiting so many? Probably don't want so many coming from here since we aren't actually training commanders there. I want to do that because that is really... I want to have these necromancers actually doing things. And for now they are being essentially forced to wait on other matters. Let's actually just get heavy infantry going because they are well protected and are pretty decent units. Also, they cost less gold. And then two more spears here and we should be in good shape to attack this turn. Okay. Um, wait, what? Are you serious? They went in, took the castle, and then they did not actually contest the uh, fight. That is incredibly irritating. They just went into the castle. There's no reason to do that. Then the raptors, looks like they went in and took out the province defense here. Nothing to see. Unexpected event. Um, don't really have time to deal with that, so we just ignore it, really. Okay, which of these guys can... Probably a whole bunch. So... I do not remember. Oh, we had a unexpected event happen that I did not read. Da -da -da. Nope, that was not the person. Here, this is one of our unique commanders for Ur. He is a immortal and it's actually pretty good. So that is kind of nice. We can also have him uh, go down with us. So. Fortunately, he is not very inspirational, so he probably shouldn't be leading troops, really. Um, we need to start dividing up the troops. Let's see. So these are size 5, so they can only take 4 down. Well, actually, this guy is the uh, only 10 because he's an initiate, so we'll send these over here. Probably. Um, this guy is set. This is... These guys apparently are not by nature... 
which is very surprising. That's as many as he can take. Um, give you days of water breathing, then you can take this many. <sighs> you have pills of water breathing. Well, you can take this many with you. He can only take, um, wait, these do not stack. Oh gosh. This is truly terrible. We need to basically see how many of these guys we can distribute amongst everything. Oh gosh. So you grab these. You don't want these. You want to get these slightly better armored ones. Okay, I am like out of pills and rings for him, sadly. So we have two people which we don't have. This can take one more person, I believe. No, wait, what? 20, yes, you should. Oh, these are set to bodyguard. No, they're just supposed to attack. Unfortunately, a lot of these guys are going to have pretty bad morale. Um, actually, let's switch this around. Like so. All of our guys have water gems, so they can summon water elementals. And then we send out and hope that that works. Because otherwise that will be a super big pain. Okay, so we're going to break out a siege here. This army should clean up these raptors. And we know that they will want to jump on people. So we're actually going to have um, old... And this we want to actually be sort of in a box just to um, cover most of the guys. And they're just going to hold and attack. And then we just move in and take them out. As for up here, you... Yeah, death magic gives more different on things. But we need you casting ritual spells, and better than the uh, Mound Kings are these Banes. So we're going to get one of those going. And we are starting to recruit heavy infantry for our sleeper to take. Manticores. Three attacks, decent protection, 
that's probably the worst part. They have a good amount of um, health, but they can easily be taken out. But they do have fear so that they can cause um, people to run. In fact, I kind of want to get some more of them because being able to fly and being rather strong means that they could just take out some mages super quick. So, oh, but we just unlocked Conjuration 6, so there's even more things. Lamias, forest giants, which they were summoning, forest troll tribes, troll king's court, which gives a whole bunch of stuff. Costs a ton of earth gems. Um, let's get another manticore for now. Um, you, what can we have you do? Not too much. Um, actually, let's have you pop over, grab these soldiers, which will recruit a few more. Over here, we want to stay put. We're breaking out here. Gosh, I just need to remember to uh, set them to patrol so they'll actually fight it out. Um, this guy can head up. You head up. You forge. Ah, so many items, so little ability to uh, think. We're going to send him back over for more summoning purposes. You should head down for possible defense needs. And we'll end this turn, see how it goes. and. Hopefully we win our little gamble. That is definitely the fight going down because lots of troops on either side, especially when we have many different... Um, we took out a Machakin. Uh, looks like we did not break the siege somehow. Very confusing. Um, battle in Midland where we attacked the place where the raptors were. We did catch up to them, so we should see them in the long range. They left a lot of the beauties exposed over here, but most of them cast a defensive spell first, like So they should be relatively well protected. I don't know how exactly they're still waiting. Because our skeletons already started to move forward. Oh, but they decided to go after the skeletons. Fortunately, our Mound King was exposed. So. Off you. Excuse me. They are very lucky. But they did win. That was a very powerful block shot. And it looks like we did take that. Yeah. Lost a few long dead. That is perfectly fine. Ocean of Plenty. Ah, this was the uh, big battle. So here's our gigantic blob of various units. We have tons of water gems for people to be casting um, buffs as well as schools of sharks. See, that's a Yes. Yeah, see, that's a huge amount of slave warriors. But our Mushishus should be quite good, especially against most of these. The Shambler Thralls are like the best units. Yeah, and the Sharks are actually relatively weak. They're just small. But they are everywhere. And this is the Mind Lord. This is actually a um, commander you can train with Relia. They are Aboleths. And he has a whole ton of magic gems. And he has a few guards, but the uh, sharks are in Apparently lightning works. Yes. 
Whoa, and one of them summoned a full-on water elemental. That's, really cool. That's what I was hoping, hoping that they would summon. I mean, they can also summon the lesser ones, but... Um, summoning. I would... Uh, they're mainly casting School of Sharks. I need to look up what that spell does exactly, because it's actually really effective. It actually caused all of these guys to route off, and once they leave, we'll... Yeah, this guy actually just fled because enough of them are routing. So we did manage to take it. Um, the Battle in Yellow Mountains. Let's see what fiasco happened here. Um... Mechanical men. Um, interesting. They had a whole lot of horsemen. So, actually, I'm not too certain that it might have caused it to go forward. Because I guess they might have gotten a lot of arrows against our hatless people. That is one of the ice strikes immediately decided to leave Once we got in, we started to move them. But. I'm not surprised that they uh, maintain morale with all of the time. <sighs> that is disappointing. So most of them retreated. Back to the fortification. Okay. That is at least good so that we don't lose it immediately. And also, we did destroy enough that they cannot take it. Um, that's not great. That's weird. And they attacked in high peaks. Oh, yeah, we had left this undefended. Yeah, see, that's the Cave Drake. Very high protection, but just a bite attack, so it's not super great. They won that definitely, and now we want um, all but you to move back. You get to claim the throne. Solace of Atlantis. I don't have any death mages here, so I can't try that. Um, the Throne of Misfortune. Joke's on them, we already have Misfortune 3. It can't get any worse. Actually, don't we? Maybe we just have Misfortune 1. So it can get worse. <laughs> but now we can send this huge group of troops over to claim the last throne we need for victory, I believe. So we'll be training another big group here. And we're going to send this whole squad over. Okay, neither of them can reach. It's just seeing if I would be able to... Uh, I believe I had sent one of these with the cauldron. Apparently not. Um, they should definitely be able to uh, take that. Now, it would be a real pain if they decide to start trying to invade inwards, but this army under Paimon, the sleeper should easily be able to uh, kick their butts. Um, we could get a better trinket for him than just the Horn of Valor. What that may might be, I don't really know. I'm trying to see what possible things. Twist Fate is a simple spell that negates the first attack that would hit. Um, we need this for uh, Gilgamesh to uh, bump his astral up to eight, just to uh, show how awesome he is. Then I think we want to go for more enchantment, because it's relatively low. Evocation. Where is the swarm of sharks that we got to uh, use a lot of? Yes, number effects, 10 plus 2 for each additional level. Does cost a good amount of fatigue, but with the water gems they had, they were just spamming out tons of... Uh, that's hilarious. Okay. 
view head up here. We're just making certain that that province is not going to have any issues. Watch this place is still increasing. But enough is enough. You are going to head on over. Actually, not to there because we don't want you. Actually, why not? Why not? We're going to send this guy back again to make some cure-all elixirs so that they could just heal anyone who might be diseased. Perfect plan. And this guy, let's start getting some Lamias to see how they work. This guy just made a Bane, so we are going, there's lots of extra um, things you get with to death, so even more when you're actually getting enchantment and thaumaturgy goes. So Whites are pretty good, but they require four gems each, which is super expensive. We're going to have him also help with some just straight reanimation stuff. And the Bane has 120 undead leadership. So he is quickly getting his ranks filled. Also, I can't select them as easily because the kind of long dead you get are different. The equipment that they have, like weapons or armor, so yeah. This doing fine here, not so great, but we'll stop recruitment here next time. And also we need to uh, consolidate the forces again. But we are going to end the turn after this to, well, I mean, end the recording after this turn. We'll read the messages and be able to head back next. We did claim the throne of misfortune, which is very apt. Let's see what these Lamias um, stat-wise are. So first women form. Regeneration 50%. Now they only have 14 hit points, so it's 7 per turn, so they could easily die. But they become a black serpent form if they would first die, so they have a chance. Life drain. This heals them, so they are really good at staying alive. But they have pretty low protection, defense skill, attack skill, so I feel like not the best. Gosh, we're getting lots of different unit types up here. These are probably able to go in with the forest trolls. Yes. Unfortunately, we'll probably want them in a different group so that they can um, be told to attack the rear line. Gilgamesh, we need some more crowns of command because that magic command will be very useful for just bringing a ton of vine men out. Okay. Unfortunately, we decided to do a silly and leave our NC in here, which would have been the main reorganization required. Um, now we do want to have some of these people grab, um, don't need you having a ring of water breathing, but we do want you holding endless bags of wine so that our armies do not suffer any random issues with supplies. He gets the astral thing and now he's astral eight. But the rest of these, once we grab a lot of the units we left, we're just going to throw them all together because it doesn't really matter. We just need to get them to the NC because the NC is going to lead like all of them. And are there any other um, magic items we need to grab? Also, we need to finish looking at the messages because I am silly. 
um, could give. He needs to take back the bracers. Actually, let's have him take the uh, herald lance. Seems appropriate. And you put that away. If we ever need to uh, go back down underwater, we'll be uh, set with the uh, vault. Yeah, they can keep the water lenses because those are of use. Just trying to put most of these away. <sighs> okay, other messages. Found two Machokan scouts. Yellow Mountains, there is a holy source here. Killing off undead or undead troops. So there is probably some sort of sacred site which we have not found. So we are going to send a good amount of these back to retake this. Yeah, let's look at it. Um, Midland, no contest really. Yellow Mountains, I want to see how it went. Now we definitely lost some of our lives and we lost some of them to whatever we so they have some wyverns flying units they clearly up a whole bunch of long dead yeah, poison on the wyverns also long dead are pretty long dead. So, and we are not Unfortunately, they did have a reason who was passing damage on it. Let's see our losses. We found a greenstone armor because our werewolf who had it died. Great job. Our goodies did really good. So did our long dead. We lost a good amount of them, though. But we'll send most of them back. These guys you need to be patrolling to actually contest. Let's give them some guards. I was about to actually say, hey, let's have this guy uh <laughs> summon some. Long dead, and then I was like, wait a moment. These guys patrol. These also should patrol. And let's get some recruitment. Want Urgard in case of siege. I thought I took this off repeat recruitment, gosh. This still recruiting as it should. This guy. Get some more forest trolls for the army. You need to forge cure all elixirs for the necromancer here is going to get some undead in case they try to foolishly attack in and we're gonna end and that is actually the end i just realized that i might not have set the order for the um people from earth to move out we are going to deal with this next time first forest Ah, they attacked inwards. That is actually surprising. But our forces are all sitting right here. Um, so they're going to break that siege super easily. 117 units. All just ready to go. So, yeah. We took out some scout. Uh, wow. That's 
mean? Okay. Number of battles we were attacked in two places. Yellow Mountains, it looks like they did not hold. So, wait, what the heck? I guess we lost a good number of guys, but honestly, this army should be able to come out and help. And also, our Sleeper King will be ready to march to battle as well as the Bane. So, next time is going to be interesting. The main issue with Tianqi is that we have a huge amount of troops sitting up here and we had to deal with Ur and now we are coming back with lots more. So that's where we're ending it for today and thank you.